Rivals of Ether is going to put its peanut buttery <laughs> into the chocolate that is Steam Workshop. Ah! Oh my god, I'm gonna add it and add all these characters. They're gonna be so good. They're gonna be the greatest characters I've ever Oh, Morty. Rick and Morty. Rivals of Ether. Rivals of Ether is not for casuals. Hang in there, Yugi! The card I pulled. Steam Workshop is coming to Rivals of Ether. What the? <laughs> okay, so you're not caught up on what the hell is going on. Rivals of Ether will be adding workshop support, which for the purposes of adding your very own custom made characters. And in doing this, they're going to be adding Sandbert and Guadua. And you're going to be able to make your own stages. I like how in this in the trailer they show like the stage that's just it's just a bunch of platforms. You're gonna make your own stage. We got all kinds of platforms. We got big platforms, all platforms, platforms over here. We got platforms under platforms, platforms under the ground. That's just the stage. So in this video, we're gonna discuss three clickable things. We're gonna discuss the Reddit AMA. Trevor Youngblood did a gajillion billion questions and I read all of his answers. We're then gonna discuss how do you make a custom character and maybe hopefully the, uh, how to make a good one. And then finally, we'll talk about how this affects the future of America, of Rivals of Ether. All right, the Reddit AMA. Trevor Youngblood, he was the, the main man behind the mission of doing, he coded a lot of this. One of the main takeaways is yes, Sambert and Gwadwa, their files will be completely editable. Sambert being like your beginner friendly character and Gwadwa being your, I have too much time on my hands and I'm gonna really make a character. Uh, when is this coming out? Nobody knows, not even they do, but there will be a public beta as soon as Trevor's done jerking off. <laughs> And so the final version of it will be with the definitive edition. So what are we getting? You're gonna be able to do essentially everything that a Rivals of Ether character can do. The only limit is your imagination. So, okay, what is it? What are we getting? Is it gonna be some fancy schmancy tool where even Stefan can make their own character? No. Very likely not. In one of the questions he breaks down, like it's essentially just gonna be file architecture. You're gonna get all these different little templates and files that you can plug in your own persona and poop out a character. And so this means it's not gonna be user friendly. It's not gonna be easy at all. Trevor says, full freedom. You can make things like Edelus 4s where an F tilt, where it creates an article during the attack. You can make a fair that teleports you directly to the opponent. You can give a character a completely unique double jump like Apps or Eliana. You can make the character's air dodge have a hitbox. Their wall cling able to move up and down. Their crouch able to crawl. If you know how to code, the tools are all there. There's the caveat right there. If you know how to code. Just like playing the game, nothing's ever easy when it comes to rivals. It's not gonna be like your me fighters in Smash. On the flip side, it's much better. Obviously, you can do way more things. So from the scrub <laughs> fool perspective, I'm probably not gonna be able to make a rivals of either character. Most of you are not gonna be able to make a rivals of either character. Sebi Doodle put it in a pretty concise way. How intuitive will it be? Rivals is known for having some rather technical moves. So how much time and difficulty would be necessary to code moves like the bamboo shoot for Gwadwa. It depends on your coding skill, Trevor responds. It took me about a week to create all of Gwadwa's code, but I've also been doing this for years. Using Gwadwa as an example, I can't, I hate that I have to keep saying Gwadwa. Using Gwadwa as an example will make things go a lot smoother since I tried to make his code as all encompassing as I could. So Trevor clearly laid the groundwork, you know, give it up. Thank you, Trevor. But even took Trevor a week, although he does say in like a different post that part of that week was just figuring out how to integrate it. But then that's like balanced out by this guy who's been coding rivals characters for years. So how the hell long is it gonna take for Stefan to make a character? Danaru, the artist, stated that it took them around 200 hours to do all the art for Guadua. 200 hours! 
that's enough time to not even be very good at rivals. You will definitely need a fundamental understanding of code since half the work goes into making a character's coding. Using the example characters as a baseline will make the process much easier if you aren't a very experienced coder. Or Samba and Guadua will be our templates so that hopefully idiots like me maybe will be able to learn. I don't know. It sounds like it's a lot of work. It's to be expected. This isn't something that's not unexpected to me, but seeing as how many people are asking how easy it was going to be, I'm thinking this is crushing the dreams of a lot of people. If you have basic coding knowledge, then you'll be able to look at both Sambert, beginner, and Guadua's advanced code when this feature releases in open beta and get an idea of how things work. You should familiarize yourself with basic GML, which is the game maker uh, language, I guess, game maker code. So we won't really know exactly how easy this will be until we see the code, I guess. Like, is it going to be as simple as like, if hit, then hurt? <laughs> I don't know anything about coding really. So could an artist Google their way through this? That remains to be seen. I definitely think this is, you know, probably more skewed to the coder, right? A coder can make shitty art, but can an artist get, get away with shitty code? You know, probably what we'll end up seeing is there's gonna be a group of people like artists who don't really know how to code and then coders who don't really know how to art. And those people, we need to we need to get them together. We need to match make them, make them have sex and have babies and get married in that order. Okay, so let's say you've got the skills to pay the bills. Let's say you've got the skills to make your own character. First off, you shouldn't be watching this video. You should probably work on that character. It took 200 hours and a week of coding. What are you doing? Turn this off. But please subscribe. Trevor uh, put out a little like design doc thing, PowerPoint on uh, his ho like proposed Hollow Knight move set. And I think this is just interesting from a design perspective. They've actually done this with like a bunch of their newly released characters. They have like these little PowerPoints they've done at like SmashCon and stuff. Uh, I think those are probably a good reference set to look at as from the people that actually made the characters already. But let's say you want my opinion, me, Adam Kara, famous YouTuber. <laughs> Your favorite Adam Kara. I think we can look at it, you know, from the outside looking in, from a design perspective of what makes a fun character, what makes a good character. When you make a character, focus on one or two main mechanics, main gimmicks. If we look at Rivals of Ether characters, they often are like focused like this. Don't be scatterbrained. Don't be doing like, oh, we can do this with this move and he can do this. Like your moves need a purpose. Most of the characters revolve around these three main themes, we'll say. Stage control movement and kill confirms so these are like the three goals of a mechanic most of the characters and rivals have all three if not at least two of these things that go on we look at like maple she has lily that's stage control she has tether there's a movement option and then both those things work together to create kill confirms ellis has icicles and then that allows him to move fast setterburn's got fire which allows him to kill and raster's just broken <laughs> i gotcha and you didn't see this with guadua with the bamboo mechanic this is what makes a rival's character a rival's character and sets it apart from smash games so after you have your main mechanic the rest of your kit needs to have synergy they need to work around these mechanics the counterplay is involved shutting that mechanic down again to look at maple the greatest design character ever made she has lily right and her synergy involves whacking the characters into lily her smash attacks also wrap she has other specials that mark opponents that then benefit from being knocked into lily this is called synergy because these things are working together because that's what the word means and then finally don't be afraid to just steal from smash or other fighting games you see this a lot in the rivals characters but and yet they feel very different from melee so don't be afraid to steal don't be afraid to pull inspiration to put it in a more positive euphemistic term so okay summarize stage control movement kill confirms everything else revolves around making those things work and don't be afraid to steal there now you've made a good character you're welcome i make one percent of your character's profits and so finally how will this affect the fate of the universe Will this save Rivals from being a dead game? <laughs> this is a really good move by Dan. This was very smart. A very clever way of making this a good game for casuals. Because now, if there are any, we can just download a bunch of awesome characters. So yeah, what, what kind of characters are we going to probably see? <laughs> Smash characters. I'm sorry, Super Smash Flash. We're just going to steal your sprites and throw your characters in our game. <laughs> and we're going to see, obviously, your weirdo persona. 
someone's gonna spend, you know, all the time learning how to code just to do that. And then, what I think will actually help the game the most, characters from other games. Because that's gonna draw in the most new people. People are gonna see, oh my god, Hollow Knight's in Rival, as, you know, one example. Like, that's gonna draw people. Who knows, if people can turn this into, you know, the indie Smash Bros that I think a lot of us have wanted this to be for a long time, that'll be very good for the game. On Steam, this won't affect, you know, Xbox, sorry, Switch, get f so like Dan has given us the most powerful tool, but it's a double-edged sword because one of two things will happen. There'll be really awesome characters that when you go in the Steam Workshop, you're just gonna see boom, Hollow Knight, boom, Mega Man, and Blibbity Blorp, and Schlim Schlam from the Flim Flam. Or you're just gonna see a bunch of garbage, right? People are gonna put in a bunch of work in progresses and OCs that no one's gonna give a shit about. I'm sorry, no one cares about your OC. And I know that's so negative and I'm supposed to be positive Adam Kara. Well, we wanna see our characters we like, which isn't to say you shouldn't make your OC. Guadua is really good. So if you can make your OC that good, then by all means, but that's not realistic. I think we'll be more forgiving with adaptation characters than we are with like an OC character. But regardless, whatever, whatever you do, whatever your theme, Whatever it's from, original, adapted, or whatever, just don't let it be garbage. If it's not good, don't put it in the workshop. Test it out with a friend first or something. If I'm having to filter through all this garbage to get to the few gem characters, it's gonna hurt everybody. So, f you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have fun with you. The have fun. Make a character that makes you happy. <laughs> okay, that's all I had to talk about today. I can't wait to goof around with. Hollow Knight and Cory in the house and Spongebob and Shrek or whatever it is gonna be because I think regardless It's just gonna be fun to goof around with these stupid characters And it was just a smart move on Dan's part to just throw that in. Let's just copy Mugen, I guess If you do not like this announcement, I'm sorry. I think it's pretty cool So what I want to see down below in the comments is characters you want to see adapted Maybe I'll go through and I'll pick out ones and we'll compare them to the characters that might get made in the future We'll see, you know, who who is right on predicting what and where and why and hey. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Not every video can end with raster busting through my door, I'm sorry. <laughs>